I am so excited to have Kelsey Ballerini on Pure Country backstage yeah. in Montreal. Yeah. You've never been here before. I've never been here before. I mean, even just like look behind you. I know. Like what the is sun. happening? Everything is so like lush and green and gorgeous and the architecture is so beautiful. And you're and so sparkly and glittery. I'm so sparkly. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm covered in body <laughs> glitter. Because I just like to look like I rolled around in glitter before I go on stage. Are you, okay, are you someone that actually really likes glitter? Oh, and I you like don't it. mind that it's all over your house? I like it to be everywhere. Okay, see, I am the opposite. I love it on you. But you're like, we'll see, but now because I hugged you, <laughs> yeah, you will, okay. you'll be like, it's going to be on me see? forever. Oh, yeah. The only person I will allow to okay, cover me in glitter you. is thank you. Thank you. So, new music is coming in hot, yeah. girl. So, Subject to Change is coming out soon, the new album. Yeah. And I in feel five weeks, I, like, all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I can count it on one hand. Be here so soon, and I feel like aesthetically, this album is so you. I feel like oh, you are so you. involved in this one, and it it yeah. just feels really good. Ah, uh, thanks for saying that. I mean, I'm so excited. I'm excited for every record as it comes out, but I feel like especially after the way that. Kelsey, my last record came out. I always feel so silly saying that out loud because I'm like, I'm talking about the album, not like in third, me in person. third person. Yeah, like <laughs> that's so weird. But um, you know, it came out like March 20th. It was the week the world shut down, yeah. and I just lost all control and all the plans that I had around it and stuff. So I've just been really particular and and really um, protective of this whole chapter and the whole record and the process behind it. I've been more involved than I ever have, and um, I just care a lot, you know. Yeah. And so I'm I'm glad it's translating like that. And I love that you've been, I feel like it's almost encouraged you to be even more open and honest with your fans than you already have been. I um, think I think that's something that we all got out of the last couple sure. of years. Yeah. Like the space that we, we've had allowed us to kind of deep dive into our feelings yeah. and maybe unpack things that we've busied ourselves to not have to deal with. Um, and I certainly have. I've been in, you know, lots of therapy. and Same here. Um, yeah. And I just <laughs> like, I, I really feel like I grew a lot. And I think being able to share that through music. I also got to write a little book and that, that really helped me yep. to unpack some of that. And so I, I was like, which is so cool by the way, congratulations Thanks. on that. It was really fun. It was yeah. just something I did for me. Um, but the record I was like, yeah, I need to like keep pushing that agenda for the just like openness. And like, even when it's like, because there are songs on this record that are like a little uncomfortable. Right. And I love that. Like that's, I don't know. That's like the human experience. And speaking of us all growing up, I feel like it's so cool seeing a photo that a fan posted with you oh my when you God. first started releasing. I like, wow, she has been there through the whole journey. That had to make you feel emotional to see her now. Like she's went from being a, a young girl to yeah. like she's there with her boyfriend, boyfriend who you were like, boy, you better be good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well it's so funny because I you know, I still really like feel like I'm such a new artist and I feel like I'm so young into my career still and then I'll see a photo like that and she was front row at a show at one, in 2015 and I'm like oh god I guess this has been a minute You've you know been doing this and for a minute. yeah just to see people like grow up with you and yeah. I get to grow up with them and it's just like what a what an honor and it's cool too because your music you're writing as you grow up yeah, your story exactly and they are resonating with it all through these years yeah. because they're growing up with you we're growing up together super cool yeah let's talk about the friendship that you have made with this like girl tribe that you've built Aww. with this record with Karen Fairchild yeah and it's got to be so much more fun to have such a you know support group of women around yeah. you that are like championing you through this record yeah I mean I think that like my relationship with collaborators has changed a lot over mm. the years and just overdoing a lot of collaborations with other artists or with producers or with songwriters or whatever and um like this time like this the, the people that I wrote this record with and made it with it, it's a smaller group than it's ever been okay and that was on purpose I just wanted to like I didn't want to dabble as much as I wanted to just like just really go there with everyone and get like really comfortable and really like dive in the deep end and um so like Karen's a huge part of it yeah Elisa Vanderheim who's amazing who is like such a secret weapon in Nashville yeah um is a, a huge part of it I wrote eight songs with her on this record um Julian Bonetta and Shane McAnally produced the whole thing and I wrote a ton with them um they really helped me kind of like f see what the whole picture was and um it's a smaller group but it's like it's lean and mean it's such, I mean, it's such a good group of people Thanks. and also people that I feel like just are such believers in you, which I think is important mm. to surround yourself with people like that. Yeah, the people that build you up, but people that also like will hold you accountable and be like, hey, that's not, we can do better than that. Yeah. Like, let's push here. You know, having people that you have that trust with. For that, sure. That will do that for you. And I have to say the little things is like one yeah. of my favorite jams right now. It is so 90s Gosh, vibes. Yes, and just 90s like, country, a bippity bop. Yep. It is so fun. And 
I feel like this album, just from what you have shared so far, is going to be kind of like an all-encompassing Kelsey record because there's a little bit of everything so far. Yeah, I mean, I, I think when I was zooming out and and listening to the 80 demos that I had from the last year and a half, I know like you've heard a bunch <laughs> of them. Yep. Um, but, you know, I, I just, I was like, what's the through line here? What's the theme? And the theme was change. The theme was like just juxtaposition. And I'm 28 and I feel like, you know, every record's kind of, uh, it's been two years of my 20s and so this has been like 26 to 28 and um, a lot happens and a lot yep. evolves and there's so much self-discovery and um, and then also just like the world the last couple of years has oh, really yeah. forced us to like, like look inward and change a lot so yeah that's the theme and the whole record just takes you through like internally like changes and then externally like a lot of juxtapositions and, and friendships and relationships it's like a therapy album that we're all gonna yeah. get Thanks but it's really it's really it's upbeat. fun like I say it all and it sounds like okay we get it you go to therapy <laughs> it's not like that like it's really but it's a really happy things. album yeah like the little things you listen yeah. to that and you're like oh this just makes me feel happy good, I want to get in my car and go drink wine with my friends yes good well that's what we're gonna do very soon Kelsey thank you for joining oh, us on Pure Country you. you too and Kelsey Ballerini we love you on thank Pure you. Country thank you for doing this yeah anytime we had so much fun at the first ever Lasso Music Festival in Montreal and if you want to see all the fun we got up to click right here for interviews from Dirks Bentley, Old Dominion, Kelsey Ballerini, and more. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel over here to make sure you don't miss out on any of the fun we get up to with Pure Country.